Well, hello there. It's another beautiful sunny day here in England. We've had a week of, well, fantastic weather. So I've had lots of chance to come out on the bike and I thought I'd try something a little bit different and try and do a bit of vocal recording, which to be fair, probably isn't gonna come out at all. But I thought I'd just uh, do another video about the 125. It's fantastic. I love it. But is a 125 enough? Well, for me, yeah, probably at the moment. I did have a, a test drive of uh, a Triumph Street uh, Twin last week because I love the Triumphs. I love the way they look. And I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And whilst it was lovely and uh, I had a lovely time on it, when I left the garage and got back on my 125, it didn't feel too small. You know, I thought after a 900cc, I'd get on my little put-put and think, oh my God, no wonder, I've got to, I've got to change, I've got to get a, a 900. And that didn't happen. So that's kind of a positive. And it's probably because the 125 is a very light bike. And because it's light, the torque, if that's the technical term, when you pull away, it's good because the engine doesn't have a very big vehicle to pull. So it's kind of a, well, it's not equivalent, but it's kind of like you're on a nippier bike because it's, um, it's a light bike. So a 125 is probably enough. And also, what kind of roads am I going to ride on? I'm only ever going to do roads like this. Uh, you know, which are kind of country roads, which kind of have a limit of 60 anyway. So we're now going up. So I'm now at 50. Which is good. I don't think this bike has ever gone faster than 60. But then if you think about it, if I'm just doing country roads, most of the roads are going to be 30, maybe 40. And then national speed limit 60. I don't need to go any faster than that. So do I want to spend all that money on a wonderful 900cc where my little 125 does the job and for a fa fraction of the price? I mean, this bike was a steal. Um, I didn't steal it. But I got it at the, uh, at the end of its life, so to speak. Because now you've got Euro, Euro 4 bikes and this is a Euro 3. So it doesn't have... Uh, where it has different brakes in the back and, and, and other things. So, I got it for 1400 Whereas now, the Euro 4 bike, that was, a, that was a fly in my mouth and my eye at that point. That was nice. Uh, Euro 4 bikes are like selling for like two and a bit. I'm not quite sure, 2200 or something like that. So I got this for 1400 pounds, which is the price of a MacBook Pro, you know, or a, a desktop Mac. And so for a toy, which is basically what it is for me. I, you know, I, I drive everywhere. I don't really use a bike. For a toy, it's a no-brainer. I mean, crikey, 1,400 pounds to go out and have a little spin on a, on a beautiful day like this. Here we go, coming up to my favorite part of the journey. When we go over the motorway. Not on the motorway, obviously, but over it. Woo! I'm on a 125! Yeah, the 125, oh my God, beautiful day. It's, it's perfect. So I'm new to bikes. I've never ridden a bike before. Uh, never thought about riding a bike before until uh, we went away on, on holiday to Australia. And uh, the roads out there are very, very wide. And uh, it's a lovely coffee culture. And everyone out there rides big bikes like Harleys, cruisers and stuff. And I thought, well, if we have a move out to Australia, which we might. I want to ride a bike. And my wife went, yeah, all right. And so when we came back, I put myself a, um, a Mod 1 and a Mod 2 and bought myself this bike to, to learn on whilst I was kind of learning for my Mod 1 and Mod 2. Um, so I kind of tricked her. She didn't actually think I was going to buy a bike, uh, but I did. But I think I've got away with a 125. Um, so now that I passed, it's a case of do you stick with your 125 or do you pay more? 
And to be fair, at 1,400 pounds, why am I going to spend another eight grand on a big bike uh, when I don't need it? And I only use it for fun. So yeah, think about what you're going to use your bike for. So for me, it's just fair weather riding, trips to the pub with my uh, friend. He's got a, a mutt uh, mongrel, which basically is pretty much the same as the Herald. It's just kind of a blacked out with a, a brown seat, probably a few other things. And it's got a louder exhaust. So it's got that kind of sound, whereas the Herald doesn't. But I kind of like that. I don't want a bike to be offensive. You know, I just want to kind of cruise around in the sunshine and have some fun. And this bike is perfect for that. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Sarah and the speed limit is 30. So why spend the money on a big bike when all you can do is 30? So yeah, this bike won't go on the motorway. Well, it could go on the motorway, but I, I don't think I'd ever take it on the motorway. Just because, you know, I've pushed it to 60. It could probably go faster, I'm not sure. Uh, but it doesn't feel any safe. It doesn't feel safer going faster than 60 on this bike. Um, so you're kind of very much going to be in the lane of the, of the lorries, not being able to overtake them. So it's not a motorbike. It's not a, a, a motorcycle for motorways. But for country lanes, A roads, short trips into town, it's amazing. And that's another thing. I don't know where to park. Being a, a bike or being a, a, a car driver for so many years, I'm used to finding a space in a car park, parking it, and uh, paying my little ticket. Whereas motorbikes, people seem to park anywhere. And I, I don't quite understand whether that's right. You can park it on the pavement. I don't know. And so whenever I go to a car park, I, I kind of go, well, should I park in a space? Probably not. So you kind of park in the cross hatches. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I'd really like to know the law on. Is where you can park a bike. Probably should know that. But yeah, 125 is, yeah, go for it. Give it a go. Oh, some gravel here. Scary times. But yeah, they say most of the roads are 40. I mean, this is all 30. Kind of insane. but it's beautiful. It's really nice. I've never thought of myself as being a bike rider, but now that I've got one, I, I won't ever talk to my mum about it, because uh, trust me, even though you're a, a fully grown man, you're still your mum's baby, and she won't like you riding a bike. So um, I don't talk about it much. But I love the freedom. You know, the wind in your hair. And on a day like this, it's it's fantastic. And as I say, I go riding with a friend of mine and we pop off to the, the pub for a beer. Not a beer, I have a Coke. Um, and it's just really nice. It's a nice way to socialize. You meet new people. Um, so yeah, it's great fun. Anyway, as I say, this is kind of a test. I didn't know whether it's gonna work. I'll go home and have a look and maybe never upload it because the sound is probably gonna be shocking. The picture is probably going to be shocking, but there's an excuse to come out on the bike and have a little bit of fun. about getting a bike, a 125, it's fine, certainly fine to start with, and then if you find out you love it, go out for a ride, I mean as I said I did the Triumph, just because I love, there's so many Triumphs I ride past and I always like them, but maybe a 900cc is a bit of a crazy jump, so there's always a 500cc, I know uh, Royal Enfield, there's some beautiful looking bikes, they do the classic, classic chrome, I wouldn't mind test driving, test driving, test riding one of those. And then Harley, do a 750 that looks kind of nice. So I kind of be tempted to give that a ride. Royal Enfield again will release a 650. So 
Yeah, maybe doing uh, increments. Oh, here we go, going past uh, Peter Sellers' old house. If you know where that is, you know where I am. Um, yeah, maybe a 900 is a crazy leap. And it is nine grand, you know. I did a test ride, lovely, the bike has gone up. But then you add on the little extras, before you know you've added a grand on top of that. And as it's just a toy, it's probably not worth it. But getting a more powerful bike might be fun. But this bike is nice, it's a, it's a good looking bike. And that's what I love about it, is that it does turn heads. You kind of feel, you feel like you're in control. It's very light, so you can really kind of pull it to corners, you know, really works well. It's very responsive. And um, it's fast enough for an old man. <laughs> Young and hard, old in age. So there you go. This has probably gone on long enough, and uh, it's probably not recorded everything. So I'll, uh, I'll say goodbye. See you soon.